All right, I hope every get, everybody's getting lots of good hugs from their parents these days. Um, but I hope you're not doing a whole lot of this because it might be a bit difficult. This is how do you hug a porcupine? Hmm, we're going to find out. Can you hug a horse? Of course. A cow with arms around her neck. That's how. A dog or cat is not so hard. Just hug them in your own backyard. Hugging bunnies is just divine. But how do you hug a porcupine? Can you hug some billy goats? Entice them with a bag of oats. And surely you can hug a pig. Just spread your arms out extra big. With baby chicks, be sweet, be kind. But how do you hug a porcupine? This prickly fellow won't be easy. My stomach's feeling kind of queasy. He wears a coat of thorny quills. To hug this one will take some skills. A hedgehog is a little prickly. An ostrich is a little tricky. A chimpanzee will hug you back. I've never tried to hug a yak. A giraffe requires quite a climb. But how do you hug a porcupine? An elephant, please hug his trunk. I wouldn't want to hug a skunk. A kangaroo, just hop this way. Don't let the dolphins slip away. A panda probably wouldn't mind. But how do you hug a porcupine? You must go slowly, never hurry. Porcupines aren't soft and furry. His quills defend him from his foes. What's he putting on there? But I'm his friend, he surely knows. At last, hooray, it's finally time. This is how you hug a porcupine. Carefully. All right, again, I hope you're getting lots of hugs. Hugs from me to you. Hugs from my cats to your pets. Stay safe. Stay at home. Love you all.